I was once told when I took in a match that there's a difference between watching and seeing a game. When you watch a match, it's pure casual for entertainment value. But when you see a match, you're trying to extract some knowledge from it. You're trying to gain some information during that time. This is the analysis challenge. So your challenge is two part. The first part is to watch the Timbers versus Seattle match from 2012 that'll be re-aired this Saturday. The second part, I'll get to that in a second. I first want you to hear the advice from assistant coach Carlos Sumosa on what he'd looked for when watching a match, both when he was a player and now as an assistant coach. Hello, everybody. I'm uh, Carlos Yamosa, former U.S. international and now assistant coach for the Portland Timbers in Major League Soccer. I just want to talk about uh, game analysis, how I used to do it as an amateur player as a pro player and now as a coach. Uh, as an amateur player, being a kid or a teenager, I used to watch uh, a lot of games and do more like individual analysis. I used to watch uh, the players who played the same position uh, as me, uh, in this case, uh, center backs, how they move, how they they very vocal, they communicate with the team, very active, away from the ball, how they use the body, things like that. Uh, as a pro, uh, I used to do the same thing, but then I used to analyze my, my own, own games, what I did well, what things uh, needs to be improved. Uh, my opponents, the forwards, uh, the strengths of those forwards, they strong, they fast, uh, they righty, lefty, things like that. Uh, and now as a coach, is more as a group, analyze uh, a team analysis. Uh, in our case, our analyzing our team is uh, what we're doing well, what things we need to improve. If the players are sticking to the game plan for the, for the next game, and also the opponents, uh, the tendencies, how they play. They play short in the ground, a lot of touches, a lot of passes, or they play long, uh, push the line high and then play long balls, things like that. What are the strengths? What are the weaknesses? How are we going to shut down those strengths that they have? How are we going to take advantage or their weaknesses? Uh, also, we have in, con in consideration the key players, uh, key players who are uh, big, who made big changes for that team, particular team, how they play, who impact the the way they play so all those little details we have in confident in consideration as a coach okay uh, i hope all these little tips about game analysis help you in the way you analyze uh, games and i talk to you soon all the best be safe some great insight from someone who has been at the top of the game both as a player and now as an assistant coach so your challenge remember the first part is to watch the Timbers versus Seattle match that'll be re-aired this Saturday from 2012. The second part is to answer these four questions. While watching that match, number one, what player would you like to emulate? Number two, what are his strengths and weaknesses? Number three, as a collective, what are the Timbers strengths and weaknesses? And number four, as a collective, what are the Seattle Sounders strengths and weaknesses? Good luck on your match day analysis challenge.